best teams in the MIAC on a collision course. St. Thomas at St. John's, both in the national top 10 in Division 3, but Saturday's game takes on a whole new meaning now with the recent passing of legendary former Johnny's head coach John Gallardi. Ryan Shaver with the latest now from Collegeville. Ready, set. As if Tommy Johnny week wasn't already full of emotion. A top 10 tilt with the Tommies takes on new meaning for a Johnny squad, still dealing with the loss of the legendary John Gallardi, the winningest coach in college history and the heart and soul of Collegeville. Even though none of these players played for John, they understand what he meant to this university. And one way that we can honor him is by going out and playing football the way he would have wanted played. It's just going to mean something extra special Saturday. Um, beating the Tommies, it's, we're going to beat it for him for sure. Ready. Beating the Tommies, though, Set. is no easy task. While both teams do come in undefeated, it's St. Thomas who's won the last four meetings in this storied rivalry. The senior class, we've never beaten the Tommies, so we're, we're ready. We're ready for our time. Well, these last three years, I've lost to him four times, and I've played every single game. And it just hurts every time I watch film on those games. And um, so this year is going to be our year. And this year it only helps that the rivalry returns to Collegeville. I think we've been leading the conference every year for home games uh, turnout wise. So that's awesome. You know, it's just something else, something special about Johnny football in Collegeville. We consider this the, the field that John built if you want to look at it that way. So it's uh, ad added importance for us. In Collegeville, Ryan Shaver, Carol Evans Sports. Oh, things are going to be amped up. That's a 1 o'clock kickoff on Saturday. Epic rivalry. We're back after this.